Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I will be sharing with you the Instagram spots I found in Edinburgh. Some of them are quite hidden spots and some of them are quite famous spots that you can find via Google. So I will be sharing you quite a lot of them in this video today. I hope you will enjoy it. I honestly think that Edinburgh is one of the most beautiful cities I ever been in the UK um, and I absolutely love how rustic, old and gorgeous this town is. So our first stop for this hidden um, Instagram spot is Bakehouse Clothes. As you can see, if you walk through these little clothes, I will be showing you quite a more later on, um, you will find yourself in an through an alleyway in an open area or even smaller areas and um, it's just quite cute you don't actually have to have anyone with you because you can just take a tripod then pop your camera over the tripod and you can take plenty of photos as you wish and um, these little alleyways as well they're not really busy so definitely give you the opportunity to discover the area take plenty of different pictures and um, i haven't shared the picture what i actually um shot over here yet um but i will do so make sure you follow my instagram this is one of the most recommended place in edinburgh it's called mary's mill bar it's actually a gelato ice cream bar and um, it's super delicious and the flavors i actually change almost every day so if you like something a uh, probably not gonna be there the next day so make sure you get it and um, only downside of this is that this place is extremely busy so if you want to shoot a picture outside of the store and make sure you have there before they actually open um, or a quiet period. I'm not too sure was the quiet period there because every single time we were walking nearby it was super super busy and um, so unfortunately I couldn't shoot any picture outside of the bar but I managed to get um, the ice cream so we had a little bit down to the actually uh, marketplace I think this is what it's called um, the marketplace over here um, and that's where we shot some photos with our gelato ice cream if you've been following my uh, vlogs on a regular basis you probably seen this clip uh, from my very first vlog that I released in Edinburgh and um, basically we visited the Carlton Hill and um, this is definitely something I would highly recommend because you have a beautiful view over the city not to mention the, all the beautiful places that you can actually take a plenty of photos around here definitely recommend for you to come up here very early because there is no one around and you can take plenty of photos you can actually use a tripod, a drone, anything basically and you can get really really nice content for yourself I'm really sorry guys, I haven't actually realized that how much uh, you can tell that I have a little cold um, so it's probably not really lovely to listen to my voice right now but anyway, so let's carry on um, the next part that I'm going to show you it's actually called a Writer's Museum there's two different ways you can get in here by two little um, alleyways one of them is called Lazy Lady Clothes I believe um, another one is the market clothes if I remember right not 100% sure but this is the area as you can tell and I will show you right here when we uh, walk in and um, it's a really really nice um, little area where you can take so many different pictures yes sorry it's actually called the lady stairs clothes yes so this is where you come through and you can take plenty of different pictures it's really really nice
as I mentioned earlier, there is plenty of different alleyways in Edinburgh and if you have enough time, I actually would recommend you to go through um, a few of them because it is very pretty, um, especially this one. Um, you probably saw this uh, from Instagram and everywhere because this is one of the main Instagram spots um, in Edinburgh. So if you walk through this very, very... <laughs> skinny alleyway you will see a beautiful view over this uh, cathedral I think it is um, or maybe this is the arch um, so yeah it's just gorgeous um, the only thing is because the lighting coming from um, basically the wrong angle it's quite hard to take bright pictures of yourself and um, so you can't really shoot like a proper pictures you can shoot like travel photos Of course, uh, one of the main Instagram spots in Edinburgh is the Edinburgh Castle. So I actually haven't visited the castle inside. I only went up there to shoot some pictures. And most of my pictures actually of the castle is from down upwards, basically, um, from a park where is a beautiful fountain. I think it's called the Ross Fountain um, that I will be showing you in a second as well. So anyway, when you head up here, um, you can expect even very early morning that it's going to be super crowded. So I'm not too sure what time is actually good to go over there to shoot some photos. Um, but I was up here, I actually found a really little vintage car and i was more interested in than the actually castle so i shot some pictures with that i haven't shared on my instagram yet so i can't really share it here with you guys but if you follow me you will so uh, you will see them in the near future So actually this is the angle where I would say that this is a gorgeous angle to shoot up uh, to basically have the castle in the background and as you can see we are heading to the Ross Mountain. Um, so basically it's just around the castle and um, it's like a 10 minutes walk from up there where we've just actually been and um, it, it's really really pretty and um, the only bad part is um, that they actually barricaded around uh, the fountain at the moment so you can't really go close and take nice photos but as you can see there is a cherry blossom tree um, and basically that was my angle that I was shooting it from um, all my pictures that I will be sharing very very soon My absolute per personal favorite area in Edinburgh was the village and Stockbridge. It just reminds me of basically the Cheshire countryside a tiny bit. I'm not too sure why, but it is. And you can take so many beautiful pictures. There's so many colorful front doors. There are plenty of different alleyways that are absolutely gorgeous. Like this one is called the Circus Lane. You probably saw plenty of pictures um, over Instagram of this little um, Ali, it's absolutely adorable and so so gorgeous um, that, but there is plenty of uh, different Ali's like this all over the village and Stockbridge so definitely would recommend um, if you're staying in Edinburgh to walk out there Of course, um, we actually managed to pick one of the coldest days um, to come to the village and to take some pictures, um, which was a bit silly from us because honestly, I was freezing so much, um, as well as Dominic. But also, it was very good because there was no one really around and we could take pictures, we could take time. Um, 
to make sure we get the right content and everything so it may, might be a good idea for you as well to pick um like a rainy <laughs> or cold day or you can just wait in line um and get your pictures as well it's a really really nice area i would definitely recommend to uh, visit this I honestly not too sure if Dim Village and Stockbridge um they actually like areas um in Edinburgh or Dim Village is actually just a that basically street that we just saw before. Um but either way, um this area where we are right now I definitely call Stockbridge um and here you can find a market arch that is absolutely gorgeous and I would highly recommend uh, to walk down here and um, actually there was a Starbucks um, that round the corner so it's really easy um, not to miss this loss. So that's it for today guys, I really hope you enjoyed this quick video and this little walk around again in Edinburgh with me. As I mentioned earlier, this is our last week here um, I took plenty of content, I also visited a plenty of other sites that I'm gonna mention right here. If you here in Edinburgh I would highly recommend to visit all these places because you will be definitely going home with plenty of different and amazing content. Thank you for watching, bye!